Wow, wasn't that amazing? I mean, he, he basically wrote that last night. And what's even more amazing is in the hour that they had this morning, the band learned it. Sang. I think that deserves another round of applause. Especially for all us perfectionists who work on something day after day, week after week, year after year, before we take it to the world. <laughs> Instead of, here we go. But I think it's a keeper, Anthony. It sounded yeah. good to me. So this morning, as I say, we start a new theme this month. And I'm just delighted that um, our speaker this morning is the president of our board, Woo! which is Claude Pellerin. Yeah. Um, anyone who's been coming to Unity at all has probably met Claude, as he is that kind of charming, charismatic person who wants to come up and get to know you genuinely, heart to heart. And it is his desire to share his thoughts and ideas with people in a way that inspire them and help them learn and move forward in their lives. And I have to say, I am always intrigued um, when Claude says he has a new talk. Because you know people talk about having original thought. But Claude is one of the few people I know who truly does have that, who he often speaks about things in a very unique way. So I'm excited and delighted to introduce Claude Pellerin for this morning's talk. I got a secret uh, thing here. <laughs> How's that? No. Did that work? Oh, there we oh, go. oh no, that's good. Subject. Yeah. Okay. Beauty within, beauty around us. Wow. Anthony said it all in his song. Really. It was an amazing, amazing feat to do that overnight. Thank you, Anthony. So I'm going to bring my own spin uh, to the message. Beauty within, for me, is far, far deeper than what the senses can perceive. I've been thinking about this talk for 25 years. Talk about preparation. <laughs> preparation. So today's the day. Today's the day that I'm going to just send a message about the beauty within. I came to the conclusion that the beauty within is consciousness. Consciousness is the presence of God within us. Whoa, the creator of all, the creative essence of all that is, lives within us. The message comes through our songs, it comes through all that we talk about at Unity. So, the challenge I had was to bring this talk into a palatable, digestible, easy, understanding way. And how do we talk about consciousness, this invisible thing that is out there, the presence of God, invisible? So I came up with this idea. This hourglass struck my attention in 2006. This hourglass represents consciousness. So imagine, you've got to use your imagination as I have. The lower bubble of the hourglass represents human consciousness. And the upper bubble of the hourglass represents universal consciousness. The whole thing is consciousness. The grains of sand at the bottom of the hourglass represents thoughts. Each one of our thoughts. Thoughts have been recorded in the universal consciousness since the beginning of time. Wow, when we think about that, it's rather interesting. Now, if we could see universal consciousness, what would it look like? My 
imagine, my imagination told me it would look like just like any city in the world. Universal consciousness would have high-rise buildings, all kinds of housing, shopping centers, corner stores, police stations, fire stations, schools, universities, highways, cars, airplanes, everything that's in our world is also in universal consciousness. Ah. In our world, we have all kinds of products. For instance, if we go to Walmart, Walmart, the department store that has a little bit of everything. So we go in there and we're going to buy shoes. So we get to the shoe, oh, the shoe department, there's all kinds of aisles with shoes. Are those shoes yours? They're not. They're not your shoes. So, you try a pair of shoe on, oh, they don't feel good, they're too tight, I don't like the way they look, so you try another pair on, and you try another pair on, until you find a pair of shoe that you really, you really like, and it fits good for you. Then once you buy the shoes, they are yours. Easy? Easy to understand? In, you, in universal consciousness, there is only one product, only one product, and that product is thoughts. Mm. Thoughts are a product of consciousness. So, when we take the hourglass and we turn it around, like Anthony's song says, everything goes to, these are all our thoughts, all our thoughts are absorbed in each grain of sand. They go through that space here which is called awareness, just like his song said. So this guy didn't talk to me about writing this song, and he, he, he just said everything I was going to say. It's just <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> absolutely exciting. So, now, as the thoughts go into universal consciousness, something amazing happens because universal consciousness takes these thoughts and places them in areas that are familiar to each one of you. What's familiar to us is easy to understand. For instance, if you go to the department store in universal consciousness, which is similar to a Safeway, you go and you start shopping and you're going to buy your favorite cereal. And you take it, you put it in your basket, and right next to those cereals, there's a new kind of cereal that showed up. Oh, so you pick up that box and you look, sugars, you know, blah, 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 blah. Oh, this looks healthy. So I'm going to buy this cereal and try it out. And this is an example of how we learn. We go outside of the familiar and we pick up other thoughts that came from other people, that came from all over the place since the beginning of time. We take those and we bring them into our own world. Hmm. So those thoughts is what allows us to grow. It's what allows us to expand and evolve. That's how the universe works. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So the beauty within is the presence of God within us. It's also imagination. It's also our capacity to think. In order to think, we have thoughts. Those are beauties that are within us. And we get to apply them in our daily life. So the, the hourglass then, if you understand what I was talking about, is an inspiration. That's all it is. And if this inspires you, when you leave here, there's hourglass, mini hourglass on the counter over there. You look like this. You can take one. 
and take it home. And every time if you think about it, well, a good time to think about it is when you go to the washroom <laughs> and you sit on the throne. <laughs> Most people have a book to read or they do crossword puzzles or something like that. <laughs> you can take your hourglass and you can turn it around and you can look at the grains of sand going through knowing that those are thoughts. Those are thoughts that you made yours. There are thoughts that come from universal consciousness as well. And you can watch these grains of sands just go through and realize that, oh my goodness, I'm learning stuff. I'm really expanding. I'm really evolving. Huh. The normal pace of life. So thoughts are really the most important thing in our life that we need to pay, uh, to pay attention to. The beauty within. The beauty without is masked heavily by negativity. So we have to break through that wall of negativity. It's not all ours, it's just there, it's just the nature of the world. So breaking through the negativity is sometimes difficult to do. So here's the trick. There's only one way to break through negativity, and that's to give it back to God, if you like. It's to surrender it. I spent many years studying the work of David R. Hawkins. In his book, Letting Go, he explained this very, very thoroughly, the process of letting go. The process of letting go brings healing that you actually <coughs> trigger in yourself. You initiate this healing because as you let go of negativity, whatever that is for you, it disappears and healing takes place. Isn't that wonderful? That's the beauty within the power that we all have within ourselves to get through difficult times in our lives. So it's just a matter of narrowing down what's happening to us to what are the thoughts in my mind in this moment? 25 years of practice. I can assure you 25 years of practice really worked well for me. Really. It did. <coughs> Today is my birthday. Yay! 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 A young 75 year old. Yeah. And I have another 100 years to go. Yeah. Be aware. <laughs> Be aware that this is only a beginning. At Unity, we do all sorts of classes and that take us into that inner place which is invisible, really into that inner place that enables us to be, to understand ourselves more deeply. So, um, transition is one of those things, right? Transition means that we change. We constantly, constantly change. A part of us wants us to resist change, but, oh, wait a minute. Um, Change is not to be resisted. It's the only constant thing in life. Change is what actually awakens the beauty within us. Like learning a song like Anthony just sang before I started talking is good rhythm, good words. It's really, really nourishing. It's fun. You gotta have fun in life. You just can't be all seriousness and work, work, work and Worry, worry, worry. Those are the negative things, the worry, 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 that we can let go. We put it aside. We just put it aside momentarily. Because uh, if, I'm, if you're like me, I can let go of negativity, but it's not gone forever. <laughs> you know, it shows up, it comes back. Oh my goodness, I gotta do it again, and again, and again, and again. And that's the nature of life. So we release negativity and we invite beauty. We have to look at beauty within because we all have it. We all possess that beauty within. 
And then when we look around, I look around this room, and I look at everybody, and what do I see? I see thoughts. <laughs> They're kind of come. <laughs> the thoughts are just floating around, and those wonderful thoughts is really what works. What works for us to understand ourselves and others. Thoughts are not ours. They are a product of consciousness. They only become ours once we say, okay, I like that thought, I'm going to use it. I like that song, I'm going to sing it. I like those shoes, I'm going to buy them. We have to take ownership of the thoughts that work for us. They fit in our familiar world. And our familiar world constantly changes as we grow, as we understand life. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah, yeah. I see smiles all over the place. Those smiles are coming from thoughts. <laughs> they are expressing the beauty within. That's what a smile does. It expresses the beauty within, which we all have. <coughs> How am I doing for time? You're fine. Like to well, yeah, I'm doing good, you see. Okay. All right. Five minutes. <laughs> I have to count on my time counter because sometimes when I start talking, I just can't stop. <laughs> but today is limited to 20 minutes. So um, what I want to do is um, this afternoon after the potluck, I will uh, do a workshop on the land of thoughts. And the land of thoughts will explain exactly how thoughts work in the universal consciousness. There's a lot more than meets the eye. I can't express it all in one talk, but I made drawings so that everybody can understand how thoughts actually work, how we surrender, how we get empowered and disempowered, and all that good stuff. So if you're able to stay this afternoon, I would love to see you attend this workshop. Don't forget to take your hourglass should you feel to inspired by that. It's there for you to have. And now I will guide you into a meditation before we carry on. So plant your feet solid on the ground. Uncross your arms. Uncross everything. And close your eyes. us to the beauty within and all around. Listen to the beating of your heart and feel, feel the presence of God within. Feel the light that is God surrounding us. We are one 
with the light. Feel. <coughs> Feel the love that is God, that God enfolds us. We are one with that love. Feel. Feel the power that is God guiding us. We are one with the power of God. Feel. Feel the presence that is God watching over us. We are one with the presence. Wherever God is, wherever I am, God is. All is well. Sing one more time the song Surrender. <laughs> 